What up, it's JP. Today I'm bringing you a video featuring some insane tactics that I just used to close out this game here. So if this video doesn't get you to practice chess tactics in order to win games, then I don't know what will. Let's see what happened. So I noticed I'm losing this game, and I noticed that the enemy king and queen are vulnerable to a knight fork if I can get my knight to this square. This square is guarded by this g-pawn here, so I went ahead and realized, well, if I need to get my knight to this square, then I need to first route the knight to either this square or this square. That way, say this pawn ever moves, I could jump from here instantly fork these two pieces. So I had the idea, take this knight, route it from here to here, and then it would be ready to employ this fork tactic. So my first move, I played here, getting ready to play this. My opponent doesn't realize my idea. It goes ahead and actually undefends this square. Uh, the engine categorized this as a blunder because it realized my threat. I went from, in, in one move, I'm losing here. My opponent's almost plus two. Now I'm almost plus two, or minus is the same for black, so I'm almost minus two. So I play uh, knight e6. I'm ready to fork. My opponent realizes this. Um, he can't get his king forked, and there's a lot of squares that he could also move to where my knight would still be forking his king and his queen. So he moves to g3, trying to avoid this fork. Well, now I have another tactic. And this is the move I played in the game. f4, check. I'm forking the king and the knight. And my pawn is protected by my knight and my queen. So now he just lost a piece, and I'm minus five and a half. At this point, the game is practically, is practically lost for white. Uh, all I would have to do in this position now that I'm up a piece is trade everything else off and uh, use my piece advantage to win. Notice it's uh, four pieces to four pieces. It's about to be... Uh, four pieces to three pieces. So white moves, has to get out of check. I take my piece. Now, he's in, the king is in check again. And the king has to get out of check here. He can either move away, leaving my pawn on this third rank, or he can recapture the pawn. If he was gonna recapture the pawn, it has to be with either the king or the queen. He chose to recapture with the queen. And the next move I played, the game's over. Like, in the last situation, I was already up a piece. But, you know, I still had to do some work to trade off the pieces. He still has his queen on the board. Um, there's, he has counterplay. Now, the game is over. Um, granted, it's not instant checkmate, but after I played this move, my opponent actually resigned. And you notice that as long as I find this move, I'm minus 11. Knight takes g4 check. And this little flag means this is the point he resigned. So if it's not immediately obvious, the reason he resigned is because his pawn is pinned to his king by my queen. My knight, this knight, forks the queen and king. He's in check. He has to get out of check. He may not capture my knight because my queen is protecting the square and you're not allowed to put yourself into check. So before I was up a piece, now I'm up a piece and a queen. Game's over. So practice your tactics and you will find things like this in your games. It's just a matter of time. Thank you for watching.